Stop breathing in my ear. This guy. This guy here. Okay. You know what we're doing again. Yeah, we're gonna play through my last uh, last build again that I uploaded. I fixed a bunch of shit and brought the uh, brought up my textures to 1K again and set things up so you can switch between low, medium, and high, you know, textures. So we'll see what happens. Let's just try. Oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, close this thing here. All right. Am I recording? Wait, gotta make sure. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's recording. Okay. I made a soft box out of like dumb things, so it kind of works. <clears throat> All right. Let's hope for the best. Maybe I'll I'll make it a mission. I will kill every enemy robot in here. Warning, sentience detected. Warning, sentience detected. Warning, sentience. Okay. So let's go to the Let's go into the menu here. <laughs> Options menu. Highest resolution. Just making sure. Yes. Chug! Alright. Um, it still looks like I'm getting some screen tearing. Which sucks. It sucks! No. But that's okay. Okay. I am running OBS Studio. I gotta remember that. That's gonna make a difference. Try to make myself feel better here. <laughs> okay. Yep. It's just viciously. You know, maybe it just looks like this. Uh, I hope just to me, because I'm running it, OBS, I hope, maybe this looks okay, the way it's, yes, get out from underneath my mouse, that's mine, it's just getting in the way, yeah, I can read that, and again, just gotta do a function test of everything, make sure nothing else is broken, yeah, um, what else? Oh yeah, check the TV, the usual. These are the things that you have to do. It's like, and that's okay. Hi, I'm Tom Cody from Wall Street. I'm here today to sell everything that's left in my basement. <laughs> that's right. And I made no money from selling everything in my basement. I still have my guitars. And take a quick shit before we go out. Realize there's a pervert in here. And you're shitting blood. In big chunks. You see the toilet water rise? <laughs> yep. You wipe your ass. You need to wipe your ass. But you don't. You just... I don't wipe anyways. Okay, so that sucks, but it's good. Uh, see, so sh there should be more things to do in here. You should have, like, there needs to be clothes everywhere. Like, Courtney must have had to bail fast, you know? You need to be able to operate all those things. You need to see luggage and shit all over the place, like running out in a hurry. I think so. I believe that to be true. It just looks too perfect in there, like there was no trouble at all. Okay. Thomas Brush, how do you how do you do things? 
I mean like flashlight. Uh, only one directional light allowed in the scene because I have a sun that does like the full cycle and when it comes around I have to turn off point lights which are the things that are outside of the buildings in order to light um, and that means that your flashlight just can't work in the day but I don't know I guess maybe it just you have to like detect what areas you're in with like trigger boxes or something like you walk into the building and you're inside a box and when you're inside of the box your flashlight works and when you're outside of the building your flashlight just turns off I have no idea that would be one line of code I mean like one script one small script you attach it to like a whole bunch of colliders set up as a trigger. Maybe. That way when you're outside it... Oh shit. Oh he got me a little bit. But if you pick this up, it heals you. I can hear them. It's just all detecting things, ships going by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> so Unity has um, templates for you to play with, right? To start with. And there's this one template called the Micro FPS game. And, uh, you know, people were taking the template and modding it you know making their own adding their own cool shit to it and everything and I thought god that would be a good challenge like I played around with lots of different templates and just you know stripped it down turned it to what I wanted it to be or needed it to be and I thought why not take that micro FPS game I wonder Will that blow the door over? It should, you know. It's so dark in there, though. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm in there. Oh, I am inside. I think. I'm lost. Oh, I know what to do. Here, I'll show you a trick. Something <laughs> I learned. If you get, like, something that flies and it has a headlight on it, you can use the headlight to light the inside of things so that you can loot it. Whoops! Trigger, trigger, finger. I'll show you. Ah! I gotta get better at that. Yeah, you sensed me, huh? Well, where am I? Now you're Okay, I'll show you what I mean. Oh wait, go in the wrong direction. Maybe that way. <laughs> so this game demands skill building. Now we can loot it. Oh, I did blow the door down. Good. Uh, yeah. Okay, wait. This has got physical bullets. Come on. If I lay a grenade, I might get hurt. Unless. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
Okay, let's see if that works. No. Come on. Bastard. Oh no. Are they gonna come in? Will they do that? Will they traverse the inside of the house? I see you. Oh! I'm not sure. Hmm. If I shoot that door enough, it'll come down. And will he come through? Okay. Not that one. Fuck, my light went away because the sun's coming out. Shit. I'm. Oh no, where am I? Okay. If he gets too close, that's when they take you out. Where is he? I can hear him. I think he's somewhere in the yard there. Oh wait, where's my bike? <sighs> I hear it. Okay. Oh, it's over here. That's why the light went away. It drifted over there. my bike. There it is. Okay, so fly up and press F. There we go. What? Am I stuck? That's what it is. Hooked on something. Wait. Let me try that again. Where is... Ugh. Push it over. Okay. Let's see if I can... There's more things in the house. I just have to make this house work a lot better. Hey. So I'm seeing like terrible frame rate myself. There we go. Oh yeah, I said I was going to take everybody out, right? Okay, let's park this on a hill. And let's go to war. There he is. health by picking up parts right now but you need to eat I need to eat my character needs to eat hmm. that means either going to see the drug dealer and having him feed me pizza or finding the player's cabin let's see if we can Take this guy down. Are you getting hit? Yeah.
come on. He's just in all the trees and I need a hitbox here. Sun's up. That's happy. Okay, we need to eat. So let's go to God, this frame rate's gonna be bad in the video, I think. write a script that updates the reflection uh, probes at certain times of the day and night. I think that would work. Because having them all real time constantly updating will just fuck up your performance. And uh, just having it doing it all at once at the beginning of, you know, loading the level. It doesn't work because everything starts at night, right? <laughs> this is going to be good. Okay, I want to build, like, a fucking jungle, you know, in this map. <clears throat> and I've been having a hard time actually finding proper foliage for that and so anybody wants to point me towards some some assets that are really great something to, to start with let me know you know that comment section help me out help me out teach this guy Literally like hugging the road with this thing. That's cool. Whoops. Oh. Wrong button. Okay. So we where am I? So what I did is I added in some more lighting and stuff. See that? And we have our prompts working. So the E is showing up where it should. Now, hey, what was that light thing that just happened? Oh, okay. Oh, I hope this video isn't crap frame rate. Again, we gotta test all the fucking things. You sure are. And let's check out the. Let's check out this. Make sure it works. Yep. And lights. Hey, it did a thing again. It did a lighting unity mishap bullshit. Okay, pizza. Eat so you cannot be dead. Oh. Did you hear about that game dev? It was just like I hate gamers. It's just it's just straight Machiavellianism. 
<laughs> Oswin Gold responded to that, and everything he said was was on point. It's true. So eat that, devs. Oh, more pizza too. Eat pizza and be happy and play play game dev and make games and enjoy it see the thing is the position that they're that that they've got themselves in is like it's it's like pure panic and it's, it's based around financial um quitting their job paying themselves with with the crowd funder thing and you know paying each other and stuff right so that they can eat and survive as they're you know trying to make a deadline before they run out of money and then they're worried about what everybody's going to think and if they don't like what they made well then financially they're screwed but there's that sort of disconnect that happens because they're in panic mode all the time you can't create anything and and you can't be you can't put yourself in, through any thought experiments to put yourself in the gamers position which you need to do and it's just sheer panic and reviews freak them out and they take it personally and it's situational and that's kind of it's kind of what's happened and me yeah, I I'm in a different position I don't think I'd quit a job to do to do something like that I'm not saying that it's a bad idea like I mean I guess if you do things right, it should work, right? But what's right? How do you make it work? Everything's changing pretty quick all over the place. And uh, I don't know. Nobody knows. Somebody knows. Everybody knows. Maybe Thomas Brush completely knows. I think he knows a lot. And... Yeah. <clears throat> I think there are people that do know. And you gotta look at their frame of mind, you know, while they're creating, or when they're creating, you know, when they're marketing. Like, how are they handling it psychologically? And what kind of thought goes into being able to handle it properly, right? It's like you, there's there's little brain hacks that are called healthy boundaries, thinking, you know, boundaries in your mind you create for yourself. Like, <clears throat> like uh, if you find yourself going down, say, rabbit holes in your head, like flashbacks and shit like that. Well, then you got to create like a boundary in your mind. Um, so instead of going down, say, like a, this is a big old shame spiral in there with the narrative, I have to do this, this shame spiral because I deserve it and all the things, you know. Instead, you got to go, hey, that's not the right thing to do. That's bad for you. And it's a, you know, like create it, a, make it a, almost like a shameful thing to do a rabbit hole shaming thing you know what I'm saying like you gotta you gotta pull it together in your head and uh, it takes just it takes a lot of work and a lot of learning and it can be done and you'll feel better because yeah I mean you do have to create it for the game or you gotta think of what the game is gonna enjoy and yeah, you've got to have a vision 
and some healthy boundaries with the way that you're going to handle this vision. And I died. <laughs> yeah, you got to come up with some healthy boundaries on how you're going to think about what you're doing. It's, uh, it's the only fucking way. There's no other way. Sentience detected. Warning, sentience detected. Hmm. Warning, sentience detected. So, warning, sentience. If you're gonna go all in and create a gaming game studio, well, then you gotta learn as much about the business, the right, the wrong ways, as well as the right ways. You gotta understand why those wrong ways are wrong. Listen to people that know more than you do. You know? And don't just take what they're saying for face value either. If it doesn't sit right with you, find out why. And Maybe it has something to do with you, right? Usually it does, that, me included. You know, okay, I tested all those things. I got the stuff that I need. Let's, uh, let's rethink this. Okay, so we go down and we grab the machine gun. Channel. So now we got a cool ass machine gun, which is more fun to use than anything. Cause it's just rapid fire. It's got a cool sound. It looks cool. Um, and uh, why is that door open? Oh, cause I'm nowhere near it. I, think it, I, I just think it's a fun gun to use. Um, and you get to do the whole. Reloading, you know. Hey, what the fuck? There we go. So I'm really, like, I'm okay. So truth is, I've been fucking around with the Unity game engine for since COVID started. Before that, um. You know, because I'm older, so I grew up with, you know, the Commodore 386. Is it 386 or something like that? I could be wrong. Shit like that, you know. Like, I grew up with programming in BASIC. And, uh, like, I remember, you know, line 10, line 20, line 25. Go to line 5. And, you know, it's like loops and shit I remember being able to like pause a game and see all the code change some of the code and rerun the game and you can you know kind of hack around at it it's a lot of fun so you already going here yeah um, did I do this one yes and I used to play with uh, an engine called 3D Game Studio, like a long time ago. And it was like a little studio. It was very primitive tools com in comparison, but it it had like a, a model creator, an animator. It had like a um, like a level editor, and uh, then you did. What the fuck script were we using? Scripting, I, I don't even remember. I played around with that a lot. It was very limiting, of course, because it was so long ago. This is before flat screen monitors. <laughs> that long ago. Um, and then so, hey, COVID hit. They're all like, you can pick up a new skill. And it's like, okay, so I built a web page. I made it all trippy and shit. 
hey, I wonder if we should just go fight these cocksuckers here and just take out, just mow them out, see if we can do it. There's going to be one close. He's for sure detected me at one by now, you'd think. There he is. So when he gets close to you, that's when he he zaps you. All right. So you've kind of got a bit of a perimeter. <clears throat> Before you're noticed. Okay, and the red dots on that thing. What? Show you your enemies. Is the green is I think cars. So let's just creep around the city. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of Let's go this way and look for. Oh. Oh. Holy fuck! I forgot about that. No, he just went on his way. Okay, which way do I want to go? Let's do up the city. Let's find all the the co those cock sucking robots and take them out. And I'm just going to make a super, super long fucking video. So if you're like just bored and want to watch a long thing while you're like, I don't know, eating supper or some shit or it's late at night and you just want to sit and dissociate something different. And maybe, yeah, let's do the long video thing. I wonder how long I can make it. I wonder if it'll just happen like that. Never done that before. This is new to me. The sit and um, play a game that I'm working on and talk about it. And with my face. See my face! It's a face! Face! <laughs> so we're going way out. I'm following the dots. There's three. No, they're not moving closer. I'm moving closer. I can't wait to be able to write a script for footsteps that work. You know? I want to hear the grass. I want to hear. I want to hear all the proper sounds. And we need like canyons and jungles and caves with mutated zombie-like humanoids and that only come out at night. So we got those three, there's one this way. Just make it so that you don't want to travel around at night. Make it just super fucking dangerous. And then maybe that way. I don't know. To get me out of fucking destroying my game with a flashlight. Wow, look at all the red dots. <gasps> okay, good. Is that I should uh I should try and get some more ammo. Okay. The player's cabin will show up on here, right? It's supposed to be an H. Like a white H. I'm looking I don't see it. Let's fly up and see if it moves. Oh, I see it. There. See that white thing? That's the player's cabin. 
So let's switch weapons for now. And let's just walk straight towards it and see what that's like. Going straight towards that white player's cabin. That way. The white player, I mean, not a white, not a cracker player, I mean, not my face. <laughs> I mean, like, the home is the white icon on the radar map thing. And that's what I mean. Change my words. I'll get you. No, I won't. Can you hear that? Of course you can. Somebody's mowing a lawn. Does it sound like there's somebody mowing a lawn in the game, I bet you. Cock! Hey, we're back at the city. Because the player's cabin is on the other side of the city. That's okay. We killed off all the enemies that direction. So now, we're going to continue towards the player's cabin, and we're going to take out cocksucking robots all the way straight across. And then when we get to the player's cabin, we can pick up like tons of ammo again. There's a bunch over the right. And there's a bunch to, sorry, to the left, to the right, to the left. I have that backwards. Okay. I hear them coming. <laughs> Where are they? Shit. Are there just a lot really nearby? Yes, on this side. All sitting right there. Just gonna send this way. Collect all that shit up. I can't even see where it is, but it's like I know where it went. Yeah, good healing. Okay, player's cabin is still straight out this way. So we're just gonna if we stay on foot then we can we can engage in battles. If we need to get somewhere without having to have to engage, then we use a ship or a car or something and it gives us and anonymity and Anna and Anna and Kevra that's called Anonymous. Anonymous do 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 And then we can travel far distances and through crazy shit without being detected. Oh, right here? Yep. Oh there's two. Are they stuck? Good, be stuck. Fuck, these guys are way too good. Oh, you got one in on me. That's okay. Yeah, Luke Skywalker, this shit. Come on, bitch. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> okay, where's uh, the player's cabin again? Right that way. Let's continue. I hear birds singing. Oh, yes. Yeah. I uh, love that. The real time light shadows.
It's like right beside my head. They're shooting at the ships that are going by. They just battle on their own. You can hear them all just, Alpha! 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 There's a ship! Alpha! And they are. Alpha! I gotta give them something else to say. I've just been hearing Alpha for like... I don't know. No, that's... Let's go straight through this, sorry. Um, yeah, because I've been working on stabilizing the uh, Universal Render Pipeline with an older version of Unity that is still um, not subject to the uh, install pricing um, thing they got set up. Because I'm like, okay. I mean, I'm not expecting to make money. I, I'm not actually not expecting anybody to be interested in it. And I don't, it's not like, oh, I suck. Nobody likes it. Or I don't, it's, it's not a problem to me, man. No, I mean, I don't have myself in a financial situation where it would be. There's cabins up here. And uh, so, for starters, I'm going into this in a, a good financial state where this isn't costing me money. It doesn't cost me money to work on this. Like, even, at, like, say, you come home from work, or you, even better, you get up early and uh, you work on it for an hour, two hours, and just pick one thing, one thing, that's it. Just pick one thing. You're, you're going in fresh. Sometimes you get caught in there, man. I don't know what the fuck. Um, you, oh shit, I gotta eat first. <clears throat> then you're all fresh-minded. And you get one thing done, and then go to work. And when you come home from work, you eat all the crap, and do another hour. Balance, man. And instead of instead of quitting your fucking job <coughs> and making your whole existence depend on whether or not <clears throat> they're going to like you and what you made or not, right? For starters. Instead of starting a game studio, just start making shit and just release it. And that's it. Don't care so fucking much about it. Look, I'm a musician. I mean, no, I'm a human being. I like to do things. Some of the things that I like to do are things like this and things like music. I'm not any of these things. These are things I like to do. And I do it because I like to do it, right? Um, part of making games means marketing. So you gotta learn it, um, but you can't let that get in the way of having a good creative vision and bringing it to life, because now you're mixing marketing into the thinking of it. You know what I'm saying here? You see how this can can make it a creative experience not happen properly. So. If I go into writing a song like, I gotta make a, I gotta write a song today. 
And what should I write? I don't know. Let's pick something out of the air. Word association. No way. No, it's not about that. It's about expressing yourself creatively means expressing yourself emotionally, expressing yourself psychologically, what you see, what your reality is, you know, the things that other people who aren't fucked up like us um, and create in, as a way to, to fucking exist, right? Um, it, we see shit in weird psychotic states that other people won't see and if you show it to them they'll see it and they'll remember it because they've actually been there before but you've got some context that you're adding to it that has answers or at least something that's going to make you come to an answer or close to getting on a path that might be good or you know we're artists and and we got there's a reason why why we exist and we do have something to bring to the community and that is gonna be because we've been in the depths of hell and and we're, we're coming back with a lot of things that we know about that is actually improving our lives or our psychological and emotional state and if you don't share it with other people you're an asshole <laughs> because that can help someone like fuck you know don't keep it to yourself fuck sakes just show it people need to know <laughs> you know what i'm saying come on so when I go to write a song, it's not letting him sitting down to write a song. It's it's a visionary, emotional load of lo load of information that comes out. It just happens, man. You're like, oh, I'm so overwhelmed with this emotion and the thoughts I have in my head. You're reaching for your guitar because you're, you know, it's. Next thing you know, you're singing. Next thing you know, it's like that emotional thing that you're holding and sitting in just oozes into the instrument and just oozes out of your mouth with all of your chest and your heart. That's how it happens. It's not sitting down and deciding to do a thing. It's not. I mean... Sure, deciding to learn something, yeah. But when a creation happens, it's it's a lot more existential than you think. <laughs> you know? And you have to get fucked up from something in order to start doing these things. You just start gravitating to it. It's like you slap a kid around, you know, and keep him in a room with a guitar sitting in the corner. And all of a sudden, they start doing things with the guitar. It's, it's what happens. People are talking about how trauma is related to creativity. Fucking rights it is. Because there's something that, a screw that came loose. They got slapped loose. And it, it's, we're malfunctioning, but it's functional. And it's got a functional purpose. You know what I mean? You've got a functional purpose. And if you can create some psychological boundaries around the way you think, then you can start creating again. Right? And it's... Look at it from, from the point of view of a method actor then. How about that? <coughs> You know, it works. It really, really works. Fuck, I'm just blabbing like crazy. You know, I don't have a filter. My filter sucks. And I say what I think about it all the time. Because 
to me, any other, anything that, look, when, when I am in a social situation and you're sitting down and you're chatting with people and that, you want to be hollow and just whatever and say shit, just, just say like, you know, nice day, this and that, and all the things, and avoid, you know, life, like what's happening in reality, avoid talking about it, it's like, come on, it's juicy, I mean, there's so much going on, life is wild, uh, human behavior is wild, and it's wildly nuanced, it's, and you're, if you like each other, and you got a good community, you need to talk about shit. Because you need to learn how to navigate through life and it's constantly changing. Constantly evolving. And... You need to take the time and just have a good old fucking interesting conversation. Yeah! Slayed the dragon, right? Okay, you're gonna be meat later in the game. Dino pizza and shit, right? Ooh, mm, textures aren't... It's, I'd say this is kind of a stylistic game. You see how the camera shakes like that? I wrote a script on these dinos that uses, because <clears throat> um, they all have an audio source, right? And there's a limit that you set up. The minimal uh, area you have to be in for it to be loud. And then another expanded area that will taper off the sound, you know, as you get away from it. And I use that same piece, that same uh, circle, or whatever you collide, or whatever you want to call it. I'm, I haven't been working with Unity for a couple months, so it's like, I forgot all these fucking terms. But I use that and some screen shake script to change the intensity. And so, like, you'll feel the ground shake, but actually you see it, so I mean before you even start to hear the dino. So it's like an early warning, let's just say, if you don't hear it yet. And then you have to decide what you want to do about that. And for me, uh, we're going to kill all the dinos today. All the dinos, all the cocksucking robots. So we have to make sure we do not die. Because if we die, you start over, and then we got to go in and do it all again until we get it. <gasps> Are you fucking kidding me? Unity just... My game crashed. I have to, like... Oh, well. Okay, let's try that again. I'm not sure what happened. But we know that's a thing now. Hmm. Wait, what else is running in the background here? Anything else? I said I was going to make a super long video. Making a super long video. Fuck it! Perseverance! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> okay, so... From a gamer's perspective... <clears throat> Which I'm in right now. Warning. You have to be. Detected. Warning. When Sentience I die, detected. I don't Warning. want Sentience the clock detected. to start over again and all Warning. the robots Sentience. and everything to still be there. The ones that are dead. I want those gone. And what I think I want. Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not quite sure yet. 
Because things have to tie together and make sense, right? Okay, how about this? <clears throat> Give everything a little bit of save data type stuff so you can save. Well, you know what? Maybe my computer is just fucking hot. Because I'm running all this shit. Let me just check. Let's go to my task manager quick. And let's look at her performance. 60 degrees. It's 60 deg two degrees. Okay. I have to let my computer cool down or something. Hmm. Okay. I'll come back. That's what I'll, that's what I'll do. Let's shut this down for now. And let's quit.